Hello, and welcome back to OneShot. The um, soundscape immediately outside of my house has been a lot, <laughs> but uh, hopefully that should be fine now. Cadenza? Cadenza, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, whew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Let's, uh, try not to exit this game by just closing the window too often if we can help it. That's... Seems to be distressing for poor Nico. Okay, I don't usually play this game with a controller, so I gotta familiarize myself with the controls. That's... Why is the inventory? And start... Okay. Oops. You gotta hold the right trigger to run, which is weird. I'm doing this so I don't have to, like, scrunch my hands up uh, ne right next to my mic to control this game. That's a little awkward. I'm catching fireflies for mommy! Aw. Anyway, uh, welcome back to One Shot. We're, we're in the Glen now. We, uh, we left the Barons behind last time after getting this nifty piece of amber from Silver. So we've got to continue exploring and making our way to the center of the world to reach the tower. Filled with small dried fish. It's full of fish heads! Gross. Hmm. Nothing's biting. That's unfortunate. There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye. The land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know? But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. Uh. That is a rather grim existence. Warm coals. Can you move out of the way so I can examine your pot, please? Sir or madam, I don't know. Move- Ugh! Can I- Yeah, I can reset the house. Nice. It's a fish stew! That actually sounds pretty good. An empty jar. I could go for some stew right now. The jar is full of fireflies. A fishing pole. You can examine a weird amount of background objects in this game. Like, they didn't have to go that hard on it, but I appreciate that they did. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. Hey, a mattress is technically a bed. Uh, do I want to go north or south first? Let's go south first. See what that avails us. Sorry I'm all out of sorts, it's been a few days since my last recording session, and I'm still kind of antsy about doing this in general. Alula? Alula? Where did you go? Kenenza, did you hear that? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast of here. We shall check that out post haste. What are these weird looking trees? Can't examine them. Hmm. I, uh, I think this area, the Glen, is my favorite in this game. It's... Man, I just... I really like the mood and the atmosphere and the overall look of it. It's very peaceful. Big fan. Hey! You there! Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait. That's... The sun. Are you our savior? I... Yeah? Oh my stars! Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm heading here- so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Aw, dude. We'll find your sister, don't worry. Are you from the village? No. I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. 
We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her, too. Alula is all I have. I can't lose her. We'll keep an eye out for you, for her. Hopefully we'll, we'll find her sooner rather than later. I think a, gar a garbage truck is going by my house. Which I'm sure is going to sound lovely in the recording. Like I mentioned earlier, this uh, the past few days have just been a weird hellscape of sounds directly, like, immediately outside of my house. Like, people are, pick, people are picking the most inconvenient times to mow their lawns or let their dogs bark incessantly. It's very annoying. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have to buy soundproofing for my own bedroom, you know? Anyway, enough about my kvetching. Let's, let's keep exploring here. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, carry on then. Sure, I guess. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Silverpoint send you? No. I'm with Cadenza. Oh, carry on then. I'm assuming Dr. Silverpoint is the head researcher of whatever it is they're researching. How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. Hell yeah, I love moss. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Cadenza and I actually fixed one of these earlier, in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right. You guys already have power and all. I am the generator maintenance unit. Everything is fine here. A couple of fireflies are buzzing about in this jar. A generator. This one's got a working battery! Don't have to solve that puzzle. Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm... not? Okay, so these are phosphor trees. That's interesting. Glowing... like light... Interesting and weird. A physical light source inside of trees. Cool world building stuff. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Probably what with the sun dying and all, I can't imagine that's helped. What is that? Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... Hmm, that's a little worrying. Maybe we'll just ignore it. Beep boop. Water collection project resuming. Actually said beep boop. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um... My programming says that organic beings need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure. We'll take it. <laughs> the label says water sample. Thanks, I think. It's full of little glass tubes of water. Water samples. Right, water samples. Sorry. Doesn't seem like there's anything else down here. This is where we started. So let's go north from here, see what else we can find. Nice. The star is full of milk. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always says. Is it wise to keep milk outside? I mean, I guess if the outside temperature is cool enough, it would be 
fine. I'm not going to think about this anymore. A jar full of small rocks. Hmm, wonder what that's about. There's water in this jar. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Cadenza can make it better again. Are you Cadenza? Um, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Cadenza though. Wow. What's that like? Really cool. Yep, still a bed. Just a jar. Coals. Fish heads and tails. Gross. I like fish as a, as a food in general, but I don't know, something about just the concept of eating just the head, like, weirds me out a little bit. There's peas in there! Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just too squeamish, I don't know. Can't go in this house for some reason. That's fine. Hello. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. Hmm. Coals. I'm surprised Nico doesn't have anything to say about a bench. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I want to see it too. Well... I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. I'm full of dried beans. Peas! <laughs> Have fun with that, kid. Ding ding! Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Hello. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. It's some kind of stew. Coals. Some jars. The fireflies light up this room. Ding ding! Wow! Is that the sun? Yeah! And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Nobody in here. What about this building? That's a lot of jars. <laughs> this is it. The last of our green surpluses. And now we're dealing with a vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean... <laughs> they keep insisting that. Heads of wheat. This looks like flour. Oats. A jar of some sort of grain. Seriously, they did not have to use that many different descriptions. Just for this one room. Commendable effort, really. Ding ding! This land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. Maybe you could head towards the center of the world? I wouldn't- I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, 
I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Hmm. Awfully heavy thoughts for a child to ponder. Ding ding. Go! Uh, Yo! Uh, What's up? Uh, we got goats here! Uh, Check out your goats! Uh, this friggin' goat simulator over here with how many goats we got. I don't know why I'm doing this accent. Couldn't tell you what it even is! Ding ding. I, uh, I never actually played Goat Simulator. It seemed like a very one-note game. Like, hey, isn't it funny that we have a wacky physics engine and you play as a goat? Like, I'm sure it would be amusing for a few minutes, but I don't know. Maybe I'm off base and it's actually super compelling. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. And there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. That's all anybody can ask for, Nico. What's up? Shout out to my friend Kyle, who has a goat fursona. Well, we'll have one. They haven't gotten it. They haven't gotten any art of it commissioned yet, but if you're watching this, buddy, this is for you. What is this goat doing? <laughs> uh, sick. Literally. Hello. Hmm. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. You kind of just push them around. Hmm. But you are carrying the sun. Ah. Wait, can't you just... watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Um... Okay. Come back when your hands are free. You will be rewarded if you can herd my rams. What a strange interaction. Hello. Hmm. Oh, right. Same dialogue. Okay. I guess we need to find a safe place to put the sun down so we can help this gentleman herd his rams. Presumably these ones, maybe? What's up? Ding ding. All right, enough of that. Ding ding. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that happened, actually. That's cute. Hey, bud. Hey, ya. You here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Cadenza? You want some water? How about this glass tube full of water I got from a robot? Do you like glass? Do I? Do you? I love glass! So much. So much that I have too much glass and not enough other things. I gotta get rid of some of my old bottles and vials to make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place. So I guess that's a no-go. Fair enough. I don't think it's right to trade this away, Cadenza. Oh hey, you have one of those coin things! I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like, one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon, I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says for us, Kidenza? What's that? A book? Uh, not sure if I want to take books. I can't read. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, you want the sun? Kidenza, no. Figured. Whoa! That's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles, mostly empty glass bottles. Glass bottles filled with different things. Bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, fabric scraps, a rusty bucket, scrap metal, shells, some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. You know what? Fair enough. I respect it. All right, I guess we got to keep an eye out for stuff to trade to this fellow.
Hmm. Aha! Thought I saw you. The doorway is full of vines, Kidenza. Hmm. Where haven't we been yet? Is there anything over here? There's a lot of squishy grass noises. These look like herrings. Or anchovies? Maybe sardines. I honestly have no clue. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. That's true. Did we ever go this way? I feel like we went straight south. After... Talking to this fellow. Whose name we don't know. He never introduced himself. That's fine. Aha! We haven't seen a bed anywhere here, curiously enough. I feel like there's... I feel like there's one in each area. More vine-blocked doorways, hmm. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Um. No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Have you found something to write with? Uh, nope. Sure haven't. <laughs> That's our long-term goal for this place, then. Find a pen. We seem to have found the ruins that the little kid mentioned earlier. Hello, person. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh. Should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Hmm. A cluster of vines are blocking the way. That's like the third one we've seen in five minutes. A little bit vexing. What's over this way? Let's find out. Nothing over there. A computer. Hello again, Cadenza. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? I mean, I see you've done something to my desktop background, rudely. Let's say no to humor him. I know you're not exactly that bright for a god, Genenza, but this shouldn't be difficult. Just poke around a bit. It really isn't hard to miss. I, uh, I forgot to mention it last time, but if you keep talking to these computers and saying you, you don't get the puzzle, they'll get, they'll get increasingly exasperated. Just like, oh my god, what is wrong with you, you idiot! It's really not that hard. Do I have to spill it out? It's... It's maybe a little bit amusing, but... Let me just... Hmm. A curious pattern. We'll maybe keep that in mind for now. And keep exploring in the meantime. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Did 
The pathway is blocked. By blocks! You, you really can't- you really can't just like set the sun down for a second and move those? <laughs> okay, Nico, sure. Let's wait on that for a second. That had a music change. Let's see what else we can see first. That seems more important. These vines appeared here mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help. But I cannot trace the source. Ah. Have we been anywhere else? Ah. We would have to... Exit the... Words. We'd have to leave this building to verify that because you can't fast travel on doors. Right, 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 right. You know, there's something about a MIDI guitar or a you know, a, a synthetic digital guitar that just... It hits different than a real one. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. S Savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you... Alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's... you better? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... Well... Oh. Would it... Would it be too selfish of me to ask? What should I do, Cadenza? Here. War. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Sun. We're leaving it with her for now. Let's 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 leave her be. Give her some time, you know. Okay. I know I saw that pathway immediately before that room. Aha. The vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this... plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but... she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. And now we're back out here. There is another entranceway 
sealed off by vines. Let me see if I can find that. It's, uh... Oh, I think I, I think you had to reach it from the ruins. Yeah. Let's go back up here. Would it be back this way? No, that's the computer room. We don't... We don't, we don't need that computer to sass us. Thanks. It's done quite enough of that. Hello. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks... Oops, a little familiar. What in the world is this thing in the doorway? It reminds me of what I saw a while ago with the cliffs. For some reason, I'm afraid to touch it. Hmm. I think, well, we've got our puzzle solution. So let's go ahead and enter this in. Oops. I'm gonna have to... There we go. Da-da-da! You saved me! And my desktop is back. Thank you! I was trapped in there for so long. So are you, Alula? It is so hard to differentiate between... <laughs> Two different feminine types of voices. Uh, Nico doesn't have a confirmed gender. I just that's just the voice I use for them. But uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of range if you haven't already noticed. But I'm doing my best. You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? We would love to. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the, um, messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They reminded me of the sun! Oh. That's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my homeworld have eyes like mine. Home... world? Yeah! I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now! You can make everything better! Yeah. Party member get. Let's get the heck out of here. Robot. Beep boop. Hmm, can we fast travel to a place where the bed was? Well, where a bed might be. I feel like... Hmm. Aha! Oh! This is the shrine where the old prophet used to live. Oh? I don't remember the last time I was here. Back when she was still alive, I think? Okay, so this isn't a bed, but... A pair of shoes and some... Since... Let me just try that again. A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Some kind of cloak or shawl, folded neatly. This looks like an altar. It's an orb! The material looks like amber. Pretty good for pondering, looks like. Alright, I have, uh, no idea where this bed is. Let me just look that up real quick.
Okay. To the gate. Here it is. I, uh, I have the, the fewest memories of the general process, process of events in the Glen, so I did not remember where this bed was. We'll, uh, we'll finish this place next time. I can't sleep now, Cadenza. I need to get a Lula to her brother first. Fair enough, let's do that. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. This definitely isn't Slapdash. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them, too. I will! Anyway, uh... I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh! Would it not be rude to call you my name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah. And... Would you like to visit our house, Nico? Yay! Let's go! Lula is adorable. Oh, shoot! Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> I'll be up ahead! I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. Do, 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 do. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Pretty. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh? Yeah! She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future! What? Or... something like that. She gave one of her feathers to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although... It feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure! I think that's what Father would have wanted. Thank you. A long and slender feather with glowing edges. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again, before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. It's good to be home again! Hey, is that... There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me for solstice day. 
He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Oh. I have a few more of his books somewhere. I really need to finish this. Speaking of books, can you read this? No reaction? Really? Hmm. Odd. Fireflies. Jars full of dried moss. Sick. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no! I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. <laughs> Coals. They're cold now. Anything back here? Jars full of dried fish. Hey, is that a fox plush? It's a plush toy! That's mine! Our friend gave it to me last year! Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too, and she can even talk! What? I know! I thought she was the coolest thing ever! So he got me a fox plush for souls to stay! Oh, that's nice of him! He's the best! The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. No going back there, I guess. It's a jar full of worms! Jars full of beans. I guess the worms are for fishing? That sounds correct. Otherwise, it would be kind of gross to keep a jar full of worms. Hey! I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. Fair enough. It's clothes. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. Ding ding. Fish! Uh, <laughs> wrong voice. Fish! Fish! Fish. It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. What's in here? Hmm. Looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim and... What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us! He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along! But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could go see Mom again. Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay! So much quiet sadness in this area, jeez. Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. Oh, are you leaving now? It was... nice to meet you. Really. Thanks for everything. Hey, no problem, bud. Okay. Now we're going to nap. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? You go right ahead, Nico. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>